Can you imagine that this small disk can perform the same tests as a fully equipped laboratory? Researchers at the Institute for Micro and Information Technology in Freiburg, Germany, have invented this device. It is not only portable, but in case of life-threatening diseases, it performs faster and works more efficiently than a traditional laboratory. The aim of this process is to keep things simple. The doctor takes a sample of the patient and loads it into the device. Two hours after pushing the button, the doctor will receive the information about the pathogens present in the sample and decide on the treatment accordingly. The performance of the Minilab is simple. Inside the device, the DNA of the blood sample is extracted and amplified. If the genetic profile matches with a known pathogen, a signal appears on the screen. Other scenarios are also conceivable. Such a Minilab disc could be used at airports to scan the passengers for infectious diseases in case of a pandemic. Food safety is another area where this device could be applied, and the Competence Center for Modern Food Analytics in Berlin is the first independent organization to test the new laboratory disc. In future, the issues of food safety will become more complex than they are today. The demand for testing many different parameters simultaneously will increase. With the Minilab technology, it's possible to standardize this process. But the biggest potential of the Minilab could be in hospitals, where doctors often need to make quick decisions without having all the information they need. Sepsis, sometimes referred to as blood poisoning, is a common cause of death in the intensive care unit. Rapid diagnosis and antibiotic treatment are critical for survival, but with traditional lab tests, this can take up to three days. I could see that Konstantin's condition was getting worse, and he became weaker and weaker. His temperature first increased, then fell, then increased and fell again in an oscillating manner. Konstantin's sepsis disease was diagnosed too late. The bacteria had already damaged his heart valve permanently, and as a result, he is now severely disabled. This year, the Minilab prototype, which was developed within the European Research Project, ASC Microplat will need to pass further tests with patients at the Trinity College in Dublin before the serial production can start. In future, Minilab could play an important part to improve diagnosis in healthcare and so also prevent medical tragedies like those of Constantine.